Border Roads Organization has stepped up India-Myanmar border fencing work in Moray Town. Significant progress have been made in negotiations between India and Nigeria for a sale of 12 Tejas Mark 1A fighters to the Nigerian Air Force through an Indian line of credit. The negotiations between Pakistani military and China regarding the Gwadar port have hit a significant roadblock, after Pakistan sought to leverage the port to procure Chinese nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The Indian Navy has started the process to build a state-of-the-art combat training center to enhance training of its special forces. The development and production partner of very short-range air defense system program ICOMTEL Limited has unveiled a twin launchers configuration of the system. Nebe Ordnance has signed an MOU with Premier Explosives Limited to form a joint venture to develop manufacture and supply ammunition explosive aerospace and other defense products. Indonesian Navy were briefed on the inclined quad Brahmos launcher on INS Mysore at Jakarta, that was installed in the recent midlife upgrade. Imagery available indicates that after dismantling three of its positions in October, China has moved to new locations across the Dipsang Bulge, giving India access to previously blocked patrol routes. Indian Navy has concluded the three-week-long 15th Annual Special Forces and Divers Refresher course for over 50 personnel of Mauritius Police Force. The Aeronautical Development Agency is on the cusp of a significant milestone in the development of the Tejas Mark II, with the operationalization of its Cyan Bird Test Facility, which is a full-scale mock-up of the Tejas Mark II, where every aspect of the Tejas Mark II's functionality can be simulated and tested. This facility will be running in the next few months, and is crucial for ensuring the aircraft systems like flight control system are thoroughly tested before its first flight. The first Tejas Mark II aircraft is expected to be rolled out by the end of 2025, with its first flight slated for March 2026. Hindustan Aeronautics is exploring the integration of a mini ASA radar on Prachand light combat helicopter, that will give the ability to detect and track targets in varied conditions, and help navigate and engage with higher precision in combat zones. Even when visibility is limited, the Indian Army is keen to use the Prachand encounter drone operations, and the radar's precision targeting would make the Prachand ideal for engaging loitering munitions. The Indian Air Force has commissioned its first batch of 33 officers into the newly established Weapon Systems branch, that aims to consolidate all weapon system operators under one entity. The Weapon Systems branch encompasses four specialized streams, surface-to-surface -surface missiles, surface-to-air missiles, remotely piloted aircraft, and weapon system operators in multi-crew aircraft like Su-30 and Apache. This move is expected to save 3,400 crore rupees by reducing expenditures associated with flight training for pilots, who would otherwise be diverted for non-flying tasks. Today's top 3 comments.